the grim picture of our future. Frequent heat waves and ice-free Arctic, devastating floods and sea levels rising fast. They've studied more than 9,000 scientific papers and now the world's top climate scientists have issued their report card. Warming is, is unequivocal. It's also extremely clear that it's uh, mostly due to human activities, which means that's the good news, that we can act to reduce emissions and protect climate for children and future gener generations. The UN's last report in 2007 suggested the Earth would warm between 2 and 4.3 degrees Celsius on pre-industrial levels by the year 2100. This report updates that. Even with drastic cuts to greenhouse gas emissions, it says temperatures will still rise by 1.5 degrees. More likely, it says, a rise of more than 2, possibly even 4 degrees is on the cards. The report says sea levels are rising faster than previously thought and by 2100 the scientists suggest the oceans will be between 26 and 97 centimetres higher. That's bad news for millions of people living in low-lying areas which are fast becoming at risk of flooding. So the new analyses are suggesting that we're likely to have more sea level rise over this century than the previous projections, uh, leading to as, as much as uh, one metre increase in sea level rise by the end of the century um, and that of course could be quite devastating to some of the lowland areas around the world. The report says it's very likely ice covering the Arctic Sea will continue to shrink and become thinner in the years ahead. Last year it melted to a record low just 3.4 million square kilometres, a third of what it was 20 years ago. This raises the distinct possibility that the Arctic may become ice-free in summer, if not by 2050, then by 2100. If that happens, there are fears a vast volume of frozen methane might be released, adding to existing greenhouse gases. Activists have set up this melting ice cube outside the meeting to make their point on global warming. It may be a stunt, but their message is the same as the UN report which is that governments and businesses need to act if they are to avoid the worst effects of climate change. But even with drastic cuts to greenhouse gas emissions, the scientists are warning some of the changes made to the planet are irreversible. The best we can do is prepare to live in a changed and fast-changing world.